Is it okay for online dating scammers? Um, what do they think? What do they assume? Well, first thing, from somebody who's had an internet calf, they do not even recognize they're doing something wrong. They do it jokingly. They'll do it like, oh, just send me my money. Just send me money. And then people send them money, and they're like, well, that worked. There's no thought of, oh, I just ripped this guy off or whatever, or I told them my dog was sick, or um, I got no food, or whatever sub story they come up with. Um, they begin to see that they can get money for nothing. But then it moves into an enterprise where they can see that not only do they get money for nothing, they can also earn in a day often what would take a month to earn in the Philippines. So, I mean, I've been in a queue before, Western Union, I think I've mentioned this, where there was a girl with, with her real boyfriend, her Filipino boyfriend, um, collecting multiple Western Unions. I mean, at least eight, you know, different different countries, etc. But it's just like paper, paper, paper. And she's just racking the money up. And her and her boyfriend spend it like a paycheck. Um, this is why you need to be careful how you date online. This is why webcams are important. Because what you find is they even steal other people's images, etc. So you could find somebody online and you, they've sent you photos and they talk to you every day but you've never actually seen them on webcam because there's no webcam available oddly enough webcams are very cheap and easy to get hold of in the Philippines you can get them everywhere so if they haven't got a webcam that's the first alarm bell because that just tells me that they're dubious um, they want to hide themselves also, we get a change in text when people are typing because it means there's more than one person. Um, because they could be doing shifts, it could be whatever reason, best friends, scamming 20 foreigners together, whatever it is, they're doing this as a, a at least two-person operation. It can be bigger than that because, obviously, if you imagine... If imagine you're scamming 20 guys... And you got people chatting with the other guys on a regular basis, and you webcam now and again because the one person that's webcaming is the genuine person. The twenty foreigners assume they're all talking to that one person, but they're not webcaming with them all at all at the same time. They're only webcaming one at a time, so you can get a feeling that you're, well, that this person's genuine, this is real, blah, blah, blah. But reality is, they, they're just scamming. And this is why I say never send money. Never. Ever. Um, because you do not know that person. You do not have any connection with them. You've only met them on the internet. You do not owe them nothing. Good Filipinos never ask for money and generally won't tell you their problems because it's their problem or their family's problem. So it's not your problem, it's their problem. As such, it's for her and her family to deal with, not you. You're not in that loop yet. They've never met you. And I know it sounds a bit harsh to say that, but this is a reality. Until you've actually met them and know a bit more about them, then don't trust anything and I know you get people that online that will go oh cause I, I, st I mean I get these idiots on my Facebook regular um, my Facebook's pretty locked down because uh, I just got tired of people just wanting to add me constantly but the you'll get them go oh hi how are you um, how old are you uh, are you single where are you from and I'm just like it's all on my Facebook profile you don't even bother to invest the time to research who I am. Um, so be aware these people are out there. But often they're not as savvy as they'd like to think. And a lot of the time, well, I don't even think it's that. I think they just don't care. You know, a lot of the time they're just like, you get the ones who will go give us money within five minutes. Um, well, they don't care. They, they're going through as many people as possible. 
until they find somebody that will actually send them money. Um, so just don't get roped into it. Don't send any money, ever. You don't know them. You've never met them. You don't know what they've got going on in their background. A lot of the guys I know going to the Philippines recently have got some very complicated relationships that I would never advise to get into, but it's their lives, so it's up to them. But how much could a internet scammer make? Well, let's put it in perspective. In Cebu, I know a lot of people that are earning about 6,000 pesos a month. Um, I know the woman that was in front of me in the Western Union that one time, she was picking up at least eight. And each one of those eight would have been at least a 6,000 because she would have been like, oh, the basic, I'm struggling, i got no food, blah, blah, blah. Because from the West, there's not a lot of money. But in the Philippines, it's a month's pay. And on top of that, if you get it times eight, you're on a winner. You, you've got somebody paying your mortgage. Because um, let's be honest here, a mortgage for a deca homes, for example, is only about 6,000 pesos a month, six to 8,000. So you actually could buy somebody a house just out of the scamming money. Um, so they can make a very, very good living. This is why some of it becomes a business. I mean, I was talking to a guy before because uh, his his wife had sort of duped him into getting married, etc. And then he later on started regretting everything. But what he watched was his wife grooming his daughter, well, their daughter. Was it? No. It wasn't his daughter. It was her daughter because she'd already had a child that he had she hadn't told him about until after they got married um, but basically she was grooming her on how to date foreigners how to get the money blah 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 and the expats like watching it in his house is you know it's going on around him in the same way he was duped into it um, you know I know someone's gonna go well why, what did he do about it well he eventually left her um, he basically just walked away he just because he was worried about problems with her, um, political and financial and legal. So he just walked away. He lost his house. He lost um, s some other stuff. Um, had to sell a second house below market rate just to get it sold and disappear with the money as quick as possible. But ultimately, he lost big time. Um, probably twelve million pesos. I would have estimated. Um, but the point is, this is why you've got to be very careful that you don't get roped into these things. And I'm not saying all Filipinos are like that, because it's, it's not. It's just that if you meet a bad apple, it's a really bad one, generally. There, there's no sort of middle ground most of the time. It's either people are very good, or they're your worst nightmare. Um, I've seen it so many times. That's why I make these videos, is because... When it does go wrong, it goes really, really badly wrong. Um, that's why I'm quite happy to share my knowledge, my experience, etc. Just to say, look, a lot of the time, they don't even have a conscience on this stuff. These people that will scam don't even think about you. They just think about your next pay, you know, your next Western Union payment. That's it. They don't even see you as anything more than that. Because they don't even think about it. You'll see them, you know... It's hard to it's hard to expand on because unless you've actually seen people doing it, it's hard to explain. But they really do not care. Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah.